Hello. Hello. We're live. The countdown has finally finished, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I guess we should do an introduction thing, but I'm so Flo. I'm running and you're. And, uh, I'm May Bunnies. Uh, I'm commentating, although I do run this game as well, but. And we're both really tired, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get into it now. So first thing you'll notice is my game is in Chinese. It's because the text is a lot faster to scroll, which saves a lot of time. Yeah. Oh, sh oh God. <laughs> I thought we were live. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Here we go. Um, okay, now we can. <laughs> okay. This run actually used to be in Japanese, but they patched in Chinese like a year ago or something. And it's a little bit faster than Japanese. Yeah. It's, it's not noticeably faster, but it, yeah, you know, <laughs> free time save. But right now you can see I'm, you would probably go through that door casually. I think that's like the most but this one's like cold feet or something thing and it's yeah slightly barry fun. says something like oh are you getting cold feet jill yeah something like that but <laughs> that's slightly faster to do it that way because we can skip the cutscenes. and this is yeah stair skating <laughs> and it's done already <laughs> that'll be super important later on i guess or throughout the run i suppose but yeah yeah it's the very very exciting part of this run, uh, never go through stairs normally. Always have to spam the run button. <laughs> so Jill yeah, kind of, uh, yeah, stutters on the steps. Yeah, basically what you're doing is like, there's a, a walking animation that she does. So you're just resetting the momentum and obviously makes you go faster. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the first dodge. <laughs> um, also an important thing that is useful throughout the whole run is using both control schemes so d-pad and analog stick because yeah. on, on the stairs you can only like stair skate with the d-pad well on this category it's different but let's just say for, <laughs> yeah. for the sake of but to do like quick turns and bait out zombie lunges you would have to use the analog stick so it's certainly interested in in that regard yeah the movement is very different from classic aries because classic aries only have tank controls but this game you can use both the alternative controls which is just with the stick and also um the tank controls so it makes for a very interesting movement and you can also like switch it out on the fly in the same the room here, it Oh, this is <laughs> this is a very annoying reset point. <laughs> Least favorite zombie in the whole game. Oh, there there are some that I hate probably more, but it is it is a uh, very annoying. Mainly because he sort of like can get stuck in between the two um, like scene transitions, and if you're doing lunges, you would need to do the analog the alternate controls, which you can kind of get stuck in between two scenes doing that. And he just loves to stand in that position that just right in the middle of them. And yeah, you're going to get bit. <laughs> it's nothing much you can do about it if he's right there. Yeah. <clears throat> Seems that game audio is very quiet, although in this game it just generally is. Yeah, um, it might be a bit quiet. Um, Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> I thought that zombie was going to get me in there. But yeah, most of Mitron 1 is frustrating because the zombies, there's a lot of RNG. They can just like not lunge. There's n the higher FPS, the better it is for them lung lunging consistently, but it's not 100%. It, they can just 
really just decide to sleep there. And of course, when you try to get past them, they'll do it. So, <laughs> yeah, it's very um, the zombie dodges can are very RNG because the zombies can do so many different things. And part of the challenge is kind of reacting to what the zombies are doing and kind of working around it. <clears throat> is probably the biggest reset point. Oh yeah, definitely. I was hoping to get some quick shots, but I got super duper lucky and it, it's random how many shots it takes for the dog to die. So it oh, doesn't yeah. matter that. Yeah. <laughs> I got insane luck there. <laughs> yeah, that's very, very lucky. Because using the defensive fighter makes it a lot safer. This zombie's been stubborn. Yeah, this is what can happen with the zombies sometimes. They just don't lunge and then you're just standing there, wasting time, being sad. <laughs> Especially since I just got, if that was happening in a PB attempt, <laughs> all yeah. my seconds saved from the dogs. Just yeah. Trolled. Oh no, don't get squished to death. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> Quick, Jill! <laughs> oh, we're okay. But yeah. There's an interesting inventory optimization, which I'm not very good at, but if you use the analog stick and the D-pad down at the same time, you get like two movement slots, so it makes you go down a bit faster, I guess you could say. Oh, damn it. This this is murder hallway. This is really annoying. Yeah, this is a very spooky part of the run because of that crimson head and also just the two regular zombies. That was beautiful. <laughs> I, <laughs> but it can I'm go sure much it worse. Yeah, it, but yeah, I am reading I'm chat. Looking. So if you have questions, then the chat is going too fast. <laughs> too many questions. <laughs> too. How does she do it? <laughs> now yeah, we it, get the grenade launcher, which is our weapon of choice for most of the game. Yeah, it definitely <coughs> makes Jill preferable to Chris, in my opinion. What? It's yeah. not that Chris is super difficult. It's just like the boss fights are just very easy with the grenade launcher. Yeah, it's very uh, different with Chris because you use the shotgun, uh, the assault shotgun to be more yeah. specific. I don't know much about Chris though, in all honesty. <laughs> it might be really yeah. easy for all I know. <laughs> I, think, I think I've done one run as Chris and it was not good. <laughs> it reminds me of the one time I tried to practice here. I was like, nah, <laughs> I just stick to Jill. Yeah. For putting things away in the bank, if you just, or the chest, you would <laughs> just press the bumpers on your control pad and it like flicks through at 10 slots or something per thing. So you can put them away super duper fast, which is a nice optimization. Because otherwise you would yeah. have to sort your inventory out and it's slow. Oh, that's not what I meant to uh, do. Ping Yang <laughs> wants to remind you to kill Black Tiger, which I think we can all agree on because... I would love that RNG, Terry. <laughs> Who doesn't hate spiders? Big, yeah. big spiders. Everyone can look forward to Black Tiger because, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. It can what really are the scariest wrong. part of the run? Like, oh, it can go very, very wrong. Yeah. There's, it, we'll, we'll see it later on, but it, there's a bit of RNG involved. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of differences between uh, Chris and Jill. So Jill has more inventory, um, but Chris actually runs a bit faster and he can also take more hits. So it is in a way a nicer run because it goes a bit faster because Chris is just jogging through life. <laughs> On a more... Uh, reasonable pace. Come on. 
Oh my god. Oh, the zombie. I'm, I'm just going to play it super safe with him. I don't want to get bitten because there's a nasty yeah. dodge coming up. <laughs> this is a, a dodge that I struggle on, so fingers crossed. <laughs> I it's, think um, most people struggle with this. It's very difficult with the camera angle change. It's oh. super duper tricky. You basically have to use, it's like the only time when you would need to turn off the D-pad, otherwise you just do the analog stick. I'm gonna yeah. grab this for safety. Um, that was a very good room though. Yeah, that was clean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I hate that dodge with a passion. Yeah. There's a very annoying stubborn zombie. This is a very famous zombie. Everyone who's run this game knows this guy. He loves to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, oh my God. <laughs> I spoiled it for you, May. <laughs> <gasps> wow. This is, I'm a bit scared of all this good luck. Because I feel like I it's <laughs> like it bodes very poorly for the end, but yeah. let's hope that this keeps going. Yeah, I feel bad. We keep saying like, oh, like the zombies can be very annoying, and then they're just being very nice <laughs> yeah. today. They're on the best behavior for this marathon yeah. run, and so will the rest of the game be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies decide to be nice, and then like everything else is like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god. Let's hope not. But yeah, there's not much. I mean, once Mansion One is basically just like the essentials, but there's nothing. There's just a lot of zombies here. And yeah. I think that's the most frustrating part of the run is the zombies because, you know, if you're on really good pace and they just, like, if you have a very good mansion one and then they all start sleeping, you're losing like four seconds per zombie. And it's, I see a lot of people reset on it, myself included. And yeah, and you it's can always just nice like, to get a good one. It's very easy to just take damage and then, yeah, exactly. Like, taking damage on Jill is very, very brutal because two bites put you on orange caution and on orange caution you start uh limping which is obviously not good for speed yeah <laughs> that's the thing about this game though it's um <clears throat> like if you do make a mistake it's quite unforgiving yeah definitely. or if even if you just get bad luck it's this is very important that you don't mess up on, by the way, because <laughs> it costs yes. how much time? Like two minutes, maybe? Yeah. Oh, I remember on my first run, <laughs> I got bit there. Yeah. And I just, you have to go through the whole mansion to the other side and get a serum uh, to cure your poison. But if you don't get bit, then you can just run by. Oof. That's a zombie I don't like either. <laughs> Yeah. He was actually in a decent position. I think I just was a bit late on it. Yeah, the camera angle middle. change makes that dodge very tough sometimes. Like, you have to react very fast. Yeah, it's a, it's a baddie. And you can see, like, you get, um, you get low on health very fast as Jill. Compared to the original, I think in original... Jill can take quite a few bites. Yeah. Plus, on the original, you don't have the animation of. Yeah, like, you don't you... start limping. Yeah. So you could do the whole thing on danger, which yeah. I've actually done before, and it was the scariest mm. thing in my life. <laughs> but um, that's one good thing about the classic, but it's. Yeah. Uh, I guess it makes you a bit more aware of zombies and stuff in this. So here we're picking up some ammo that is going to be very useful for the next boss and also for another boss coming up later. Yeah, and just... Jill's inventory kind of gives you the option to hold items for a while. 
Um, so you don't have to go to the item box and bank them because that obviously wastes time. Jill can take 10 zombie bites in original before dying compared to, what is it, three <laughs> in this game? Yeah, maybe four. But yeah, maybe if it four. Crimson head, it would be like two. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to get bit by a crimson head. You see the zombies here despawn when you're about to head into the boss fight. Very ominous. Yes, <laughs> definitely very ominous. Always a good sign when things despawn in a Resident Evil. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Wonder what could be in that coffin. Hmm. <laughs> Looks very nice, right? And like probably be like nice friendly dude. It's a nice bed for me to go to sleep in. <laughs> if this was a knife run, then this would be like the worst part of the run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've seen people struggle in that and no, I'm not doing knife only on this. <laughs> yeah, it's like ring around the rosy in this like arena <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not good so there's a little oh my god there's a little bit of rng involved because they can actually tank a shot so yeah that happens you want to swap to your standard grenades because you really need the three fire ones for later on yeah and um, uh, pulling up your menu is is a time loss, so it's always very heartbreaking yeah. when you don't get get Elder Crimson down in three shots. But that was a very good fight. So yeah, luckily he's he's, uh, he's behaving Here's just like the, the zombies. Last dodge in Mansion One. And yes, Mansion One. So we'll come back here later. <laughs> you see a lot of the mansion <laughs> in this run. Yeah. It has a lot of tricks up its sleeve, this mansion. Definitely. These roosters, <laughs> I absolutely hate them. They're... <laughs> yes, it's RNG and it's just have to time it properly. And Sometimes they go super fast. It's yeah. <laughs> <So> just like... <laughs> But nice and slow today. Slow roosters. Yeah. And if you um if you mess it up, then you have to like sit through this animation and do it again. And yeah, just sit in your mistakes, swallow in it. Yep. Yeah. Now it's I guess a very audio spooky. low, but there's a spooky sound here. Yeah. <laughs> Very, uh, something might be waiting for us in this upcoming place, maybe. <laughs> this upcoming dodge is not as hard as it looks but it can sometimes punish you. <laughs> I've been yeah. hit by it and I shouldn't have. <laughs> and but it's, it's a, yeah, it's kind of a, that's a lot of damage if you don't yeah. do it properly. This boss, well, this enemy here is Lisa and if she hits you in any part of the game, you're going to feel it. Yes, definitely. But, there's like multiple ways people do this dodge, but I sort of do a stutter step and it seems to work for me. So we'll see if it works today. I just sort of tap my analog stick a few times and it seems to work out Ooh, all right. That's good. <laughs> yeah, so. The interesting thing is that, so I usually uh, used to run this on uh, console and the FPS actually changes a lot the enemy patterns and like, how things work in this game. So a lot of the strats that work on console don't necessarily work on PC and vice versa, which is has made it interesting to learn the game because you can't really um, ask many PC runners 
or you can and then you try it and it doesn't work yeah i mean isn't it 30 fps on console so there's quite yeah. a difference yeah it's very different and I know there's certain dodges that are easier on console and like super difficult on. Yep. So it's it's definitely interesting. Here are the dogs that won't like can kind of just go past them for now, but later <laughs> on in the game, they can really ruin your day. Ah yes, my favorite part is when they ruin <laughs> my day. <laughs> Many a great PB pace ruined. <laughs> yep. Chat news. <clears throat> oh, Chats wow. We have Jill Valentine in chat. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Jill, <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I've blamed Jill for my mistakes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every time. But now we're entering the guardhouse, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Sometimes it's called the residence, I think. I the keep residence. forgetting which. I think it's <laughs> residence in this game and guardhouse in the original, but I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, this place is pretty straightforward. It's just like the, the shake, the shake bit, the shark bit. <laughs> Yeah. Underneath that's um oh god, that I hope it's spooky. Yeah. I was worried about that spider, but some spiders. If you don't like spiders, then this is probably not the game for you. It has <laughs> big and very mean spiders. That cutscene's just Barry talking to himself. For some reason I oh my god. For some reason I love that cutscene. <laughs> very good but with speed who doesn't love barry though yeah exactly it's the only reason i'm running this game <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we can't run chris yeah exactly i go where barry goes so this is you take damage from this tentacle um but it's very little and it's much slower you can get quiet but it's much much slower so usually in a speed run you just go through it but um sometimes it happens that if you are already low on health and then the tentacle just puts you on orange caution and you have to heal and it's very unfortunate yeah and that'll mess you up for the sharks because yeah they can be. I think it's almost impossible to avoid them if you get bad RNG. There's a yeah. safer line you can take, but they can still get you. It's um, because then you've got the whole walk back of being in caution. It's terrible. It really yeah. does cost so much time. This is when I drink my tea when I'm pushing these boxes. <laughs> yeah, this is the chill drink. part of the run. Yeah. <laughs> One-handed yes. gateway. Exactly. Because, you know, we love our box puzzles in Resident Evil, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just one after the other. But this the one is fortunately is... pretty easy, but have some uh, unfortunate memories from doing the RE0 one. RE0 one? God, you're brave. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gave up on Resident Evil 0. I didn't even finish it casually. <laughs> I don't remember. I do enjoy it, but it it is a it's a bit more challenging than this game, I would say. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's um one of the hardest Resident Evils, I would say. <laughs> yeah. But it is interesting. I mean, it's very similar to this one. I think they added alternate controls to that one as well, so yeah, I guess it's transferable skills. But it is uh, very different as far as RE games go, because it's you're controlling two characters and swapping between them. Yeah, and you've got to do blind lines with with two characters. Yeah, kinda. it's not the speed run for RE Zero is insane. It's 
so difficult. So I took the outline, the outside line for those sharks, but there's a riskier one in the inside, but yeah. I always get hit by the sharks, so I it's not worth it <laughs> for me. Yeah. But yeah, the sharks can just aggro or not, and that time they didn't, so I'm happy. Yeah. Somewhat <laughs> RNG, and um, the riskier line is a bit faster, but it's you can take damage, and usually you will. Yeah. <clears throat> so here I'm... we're trying to uh, get get the uh, water drained. Before usually, a shark kills us. It's usually faster to just yellow those puzzle solutions because if you take the time to to check the whiteboard, you would need to get the third guess in order for yeah. it to be slower. So I usually just YOLO it because that was the second try. So that must have been about equal to checking what the solution was. But that's that's the only RNG puzzle in the game, right? Kind of. Yeah, I think so. So at least it's not like Resident Evil 3. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, definitely not like <laughs> RE3. Yeah. <laughs> No aqua cure to hate you yourself. You were coming over. to a dodge that looks much more difficult than it actually is, but is something that is very spooky to do. <laughs> Especially yes. when you're starting out with this game. Yeah, it's it looks scary, but it's very easy to practice too. You can just jump up and like do this up and down and kind of figure it out. But yeah. Get one shot killed if you do get it wrong so you know yeah make sure you got it down because <laughs> it did get me a few times <laughs> yeah it can uh kill your run especially if you're not very uh comfortable with it yeah but as i said it's like i for me personally i find it easier with the d-pad but apparently some people some crazy people decide to do it with the analog stick which... what why <laughs> i know that is insane it's just living yeah, on the edge you, you don't have to dodge the shark like this usually in a normal playthrough you push a thing and electrocute the shark but um oh this is the worst zombie in the game but <laughs> that luck though i don't know what's happening <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, today is amazing for these zombie dodges. That is probably like the most hated zombie in this game. Because yeah. if he, he doesn't lunge your way, and if he doesn't yeah. lunge, it's just. You have to take the bite. And, you know, if you got hit by the shark and you didn't have an extra fast or something, that would just kill your run. But that's why we yeah. grab the extra fast always there yeah. at the guardhouse thing. Which, for some yeah. reason, I haven't used yet. Which is nice. Yeah. Wow. Like all the dodges are going well and getting good zombie RNG. Why can't I do this in a PB attempt? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, the run's been going pretty good so far. So yeah. nice RNG. This guy is having a bad day. Got um. <laughs> What a way to go. <laughs> yeah, got poked by the bees a bit. Now this is the nudie box, so don't look. Don't look. Someone, <laughs> the funniest thing I've ever heard, someone thought it was a whale. <laughs> <laughs> someone, hmm. <laughs> Spoiler, it may have been another runner who was running earlier. <laughs> this marathon. <laughs> it just I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, this is this is one of those things that looks scary, but it's literally just aim up, shoot twice, you get a cutscene, then carry on aiming up and shoot and you'll get it every time. Yep. Oops, need to combine that first. This that boss always looks very intimidating, but then yeah. it just dies. 
It is intimidating on knife only, though. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing it with a knife. Yes. On Chris, on Jill, it's not so bad because you can just use the V-Jolt. Mm-hmm. V-Jolt stress. But, yeah. There's, a, like, a riskier strat, but it saves very little time. I'd highly recommend just doing the safe one. Yeah, that's what I always did as well. But this fight is also a bit different depending on console or PC. So it's... Yeah, it's, on the uh, GameCube world record, I noticed he did it the risky way. I was like, oof. Oh, yeah, the GameCube version seems very different. Yeah. First of all, I think they added alt controls for the... For this, yeah, it's not in uh, the GameCube one. Ooh. Yeah, so it's just okay. So this is a pretty spooky part as well. So these snakes jump at you, and there's a very specific line that you have to take, so they don't bite you. Because if they bite you, there's a chance that they're gonna poison you, which means that you have to pick up a uh, blue herb. But which no is poison. always oh my god, that dog. <laughs> It's always horrible having to go for that blue herb. Which yeah. I even don't even bother because the dog will get you and then you'll end up yeah. like just in a battle with the dog and you're like, why? <laughs> so yeah, you don't want to get hit by the snakes. Yeah, the snake dodge is much harder than it looks. It's especially on Jill because on Chris, since he runs a bit faster, it's easier. But here's a very, very spooky part. Has killed many of my arms. <laughs> Hunters! I hate that part. <laughs> oh, there we go. And my cat decided to jump in front of the monitor right <laughs> as I was doing it. <laughs> Thank <Nice>. you. <laughs> wow. The sabotage, though. <laughs> that but, was. Yeah, that part can cool. go very, like poorly very, very fast. If you don't stair skate fast enough to the top of the stairs, the hunter is going to jump up and block your way and then probably kill you. Yeah. There's so, a rare RNG where the it doesn't move at the top of the stairs and you can run it as soon as you hear like it's not moving. Yeah. But that's only happened to me like twice. Yeah, it's very rare. Whereas that one, you do four steps <laughs> and just wait for him, the top one to sort of, you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on stream, but you can hear it in game. And you'll yeah. hear him get close to you, and then he stops moving. You want to run as soon, just like run. <laughs> yep, you know, and it should be okay. But yeah, I was lucky. You were Don't getting get to the basement part. Look at all those heels in your inventory. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I can take some risks with these zombies a little bit, I guess. Mm -hmm. More spiders. For people who <laughs> don't like spiders. <laughs> oh, thank goodness I don't have a fear of spiders because <laughs> it would not be pleasant to run this game. I knew that zombie was going to be in a bad place because he double lunged. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, thank goodness we have those heals. But, um,. This part is, the basement is actually pretty chill. Oh my mm -hmm. god, I say that and this guy... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy can be very annoying. Like, you can kind of see that he's not even just a sleeper, but he's kind of, like, tracking your movement. So he's, like, following you, so you can't even, like, run past him. Yeah. <laughs> but th this part of the game is very scary. There's a lot of very tough dodges <laughs> coming up. Yeah. You remember the murder hallway from earlier? Well, now it's in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and it's even worse. <laughs> yep. So that was pretty lucky to have him Ooh. like that. Oh, God. Okay, that was Ooh. pretty optimal. <laughs> yep. Wow. That was uh, really good. Because if those zombies decide to sleep, that crimson head will just be like trying to kill you in the back, and yeah, it's just slash you. To death. Yeah, it's uh, it's not nice. Okay, so we've had spiders and sharks and everything, and here's the snake boy again. 
that we just ran from earlier. Now we actually get to kill him. Here you want to use quick shots, but I actually managed to drop one there. All you do is, oh my god. All you do is, um, like, take your fingers off the aim button and move forward a little bit. And it sort of cancels the animation of her, like, I guess yeah. she's sort of reloading or something. I don't know how yeah. grenade launchers work. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you can do it with, uh, I think, this and then pump also... Cancel, right? Yeah, pump cancelling. This and the shotgun. Not sure about other weapons. Because the handgun is uh, it's called an actual quick shot because it works yeah. very differently. Um, but the pump cancel is super easy to do. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And it comes into... It's very important to make sure you do them right in Black Tiger because, oh boy. You don't want to drop a shot there. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got reverse joke. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, this is, the hallway. <laughs> yeah, this is, you just kind of go there and they don't have time to react. You're too fast for them. Yeah. Just grabbing extra grenades because you never know. But usually yeah, you wouldn't pick up that one. Yeah. You kind of um, pick up quite a lot of um, grenade rounds in this run. Use them for a lot of different bosses and such. Then later, yeah. there are also and in the lab, you can use them for safer strats. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, taking extra is pretty... If you want to play safe at the end, which I'd highly recommend if you're just learning the game or you want to play it safe like I am because there's things that can get you one shot so yeah and it's like not very out of the way yeah even if you're on the game PvP, audio is yeah it's, it's, um but even if you're on pvp it's like if you want to just get that pb just grab the extra grenades because I've yeah. had runs die to not doing it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can, in the yawn fight, uh, you can miss a shot, which sometimes has happened to me. Yeah, yeah the, game audio to me is a bit, the game audio is a bit low, but I don't think we can turn it up right now. Sorry, yeah, guys. I, I can't Fortunately, there's just... The game doesn't have, like, amazing music or anything. Like, there's good music, but it's just... There's not much of it. It's mostly just ambient noises and such. Yeah, of mainly you can hear just... like the nice zombie moans and such if you're into that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a very ambient game. It, there's not yeah, much that... like Resident Evil One classic boom boom moments, you know. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, Dual Shock was... <laughs> version basement theme. Ah uh, yes, everyone's <laughs> favorite. <laughs> Those snakes are slightly easier on the way back, but they're still yeah. like annoying if you get yeah. nicked. And you have these to ducks learn two different lines for the snakes so you don't get clipped away. So here's where we hope that the dogs are acting nice. <laughs> yes. Oh. Sometimes if you're low on health, you don't have any heals, and the dog. Uh, grabs you or something and puts you on orange caution. There isn't really a heal in a while. So it's yeah. uh, it's, it's the kind of moment where like if you're just clinging on to fight if you're in yellow caution for example, you're just clinging on to your, your run speed, they will knock you down to to orange caution and, and you pretty yeah. much runs over. Yeah. I've seen um like world record pace runs die there and it's always very unfortunate see if that that one hit there if i was on like Ooh. yellow caution the run would be dead because yeah so luckily i've got loads of healing though so oh my god <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> no at least it's just these are faster than the dogs grabbing you they just yeah. like boop you like boop and because it just but it's a huge you, yeah, it takes ages. 
Yeah, which is just adds salt to the wound of being like <laughs> grabbed by them. <laughs> yeah. And now we're in the caves. And Enrico's dead. Bye. No. Who killed him, I wonder? <laughs> I'm glad you did the cheesy quote instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed. I've been forsaken from doing it. <laughs> the There aren't as many, like, iconic lines in this. Uh, and you yeah, don't they've... get to see the cutscenes, which is very... Oh, very... yes, I'm very sad about that. <laughs> But um, they definitely tried to like. There's the like, the very beginning bit with Barry, and he says kind of fizz. Uh, that always made me laugh yeah. because kind of fizz is even worse than what he said in the classic. Yeah, but, <laughs> they tried. Like, it it's so weird. Like it feels like they tried to make it less goofy, but it still is so goofy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is the jigsaw puzzle, which I'm absolutely terrible at. Oh my god, it's, I did it fast. It's the worst. <laughs> it, it's so difficult to do. And if you put the pieces wrong, and then you just have to like rearrange everything, and it wastes so much time. Or just spam the button till they fit. And, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and then it, it finally goes. <laughs> it works. I've done it many times. <laughs> But yeah, it's um, it's an annoying right. puzzle. And oh. this is the part we were talking about. Tm Yang's face. Oh no, I don't like this RNG, but it'll do. It's not the worst. Yeah, it looked like he helped you <laughs> kill one of the web webs. But I got really lucky there to not get a yeah. follow up lunge because it's kind of. She can immediately just lunge and it knocks you over and it does cost so much time and it knocks yeah. a lot of health off. So that was that's probably the luckiest I've ever been with that pattern of the early there's three patterns. The one she'll do an instant lunge, which is preferable because you can kill her and then you don't have to deal with her on the way back. The second one is that early one that we just had, and then the last one is a late acid. And that one is just you're pretty much yeah. gonna get knocked over regardless of what you do <laughs> and then probably knocked over on the way back <laughs> yeah we we're still going back so let's hope that black tiger is gonna yes. be nice on the way back she might be there like, is a strat. good look <laughs> <laughs> there is a strat where you kind of get close to the door and then black tiger is close to the door and when you're hitting the web you're also hitting black tiger and um she actually dies you don't have to worry about it when you're going back, but it's RNG dependent. Yeah, you need you need the pattern where she lunges at you, yeah, in order to get her close to the web. But that that's definitely my favorite RNG. Some people prefer the early acid because I think it's actually faster because she destroys one thing of the yeah. web, but yeah. you have to deal with her on the way back, and I'd rather not. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's spooky. You might see. I also did the spin of shame, but don't judge me. Yeah. <laughs> if you do this properly, you don't have to like. Uh, she doesn't spin like, but it's it's so weird. The movement in this room is so weird. It's one of those rooms that looks super easy. Like you just move in a statue. What could be hard? But I'm using alt controls there, and every scene transition, you have to change your direction of the analog stick. Yep. So you can get stuck in between camera angles and all sorts. Yep. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought she was going to get me, but she didn't. Yay. <laughs> she can throw you across the room, and it's not nice. Yep. Some runners call it, call it the German suplex, and I think it pretty much <laughs> sums it up. Yeah. I call it a yeet, but <laughs> it's not as sophisticated. <laughs> This looks very spooky with the hunters, but it's like you can just run past them and they're not really a... Uh... Yeah, the, honestly, the hunters are preferable to zombies. And yeah. Besides that staircase, they're really not much of a threat. Yeah. But it looks scary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
sometimes when you see new runners and they get there and they're like, oh my God, hunters, oh no. <laughs> yeah, you just have to be confident and go for it because yeah. if you aren't confident, they will get you. But if you just run through them, they don't care. Yeah. And now so we have now Lisa we're... time again. Yeah, old friend. These dodges, I I find very difficult. I think, on, I think on yeah. console, they're a bit different. This is the interesting thing about console. And this is I, this is not a fact, but this is what I gather, is that the way in is harder on console. So that one that I just did is harder, but the way out is easier on console. Yeah, it's very odd. I'm not even going to try the way out because it is very hard on 120 yeah. FPS, which is the category that I'm running. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But you this is, like, much if you do run. get hit, it's very brutal for your run. It knocks yeah, and a I lot just, of health. And because my inventory was full just now, I burned a, a first aid spray, so I don't really want to, like, be on low HP. So there's a safer yeah. strat where you don't have to go into her on the way back, and it's just to go down those stairs and yeah. bait her into a position where she's on the other side. It doesn't, doesn't cost much time, in all honesty. Yeah, usually on console, on the way in, I do the baiting because it's very fast to do. But and you can actually so skip that. You can actually skip that barrier cutscene that I just got by like running really, really close up against that wall. But I've only done it once in my life, and I have no clue how I did it. It's yeah, you really it, have to. <laughs> yeah, it looks very difficult. And if you don't do it properly, then you lose time. Yeah, exactly. So I kind of half go for it, but I, I never commit to it. It doesn't cost much time on cons uh, on PC because solid state drive, I guess. Yeah. It's fast and stuff. Yeah, we squish a box. Oh my god, that's just what I was looking for in this box. <gasps> oh my, who put that there? Wow, <laughs> so convenient. Like, this is literally convenient, the game. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was like that in real life. Looking for your car keys. Oh, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never like that. Yeah, it's um, we've got the same dodges earlier, so it it should be pretty straightforward. Just run. Yeah, you can do it like this, or you can like bait the attack if you're very scared and then run faster but you know if you're very good then you can just run for it yeah i do, I do think that dodge is very easy on 120 fps though it's yeah it looks i think it's a bit more difficult on console but yeah it's, this game is very very weird with the fps like a lot yeah. of the dodges and everything are so different. So now we're leaving the caves, finally. And we're back to somewhere you might recognize. Oh mm. my god. <laughs> this mansion is such a confusing place. Can you imagine having to go to work in the mansion? <laughs> oh god. That would be the worst. How would you find anything? But the thing about this is because everything links together very well that there is actually a randomizer for this game and it works very, very well because everything kind of yeah. links together and so you can explore places like out of order. Yeah, if if you like this game and you like randomizers, go check out, I think, Ben Powell, right? Um, his yeah. Randomizer is just amazing. It's very yeah, fun. It, and very... It's very fun. You can customize it like... Yeah, no. this enemy like, randomizer, no. yeah. door lock randomizer. <laughs> Just randomizer, have all the enemies in the mansion be tyrants. You can have that if you want. I don't land know why sharks. you would want that. But... <laughs> land yeah, sharks, I've... yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's um really good. <clears throat> yeah, There's also one for Resident Evil 2 remake as well, but I think that one's still in development yeah. phase. But yeah, they're both really good. He's a very good coder i guess you would call it i don't <laughs> programmer <laughs> yeah anyway <laughs> yeah 
So just now we're back in now. Back in the mansion again. <laughs> More zombies. Joke. There's none. They're all hunters <laughs> now. Our friends. Yeah. And this is just a quick stroll. We're heading to the next area. We're actually getting pretty close to the end of the game. Yeah, there's, you might have guessed it, but there's Lisa waiting down there. <laughs> Yay! For a very so, scary part. <laughs> oh, yes. Many, many runs have died here. Hoping this one won't die here. <laughs> yeah. Put your bless RNGs in chat. So basically, she can one shot you, but. Yep. It's. I'd say it's consistent, but it might be a PC versus other versions thing, but... <laughs> it is consistent, it's just precise. Yeah. And if it goes wrong, you can do a safe strat, but it costs a bit of time because you get a little cutscene. So this is basically just to cut to skip a cutscene. You're, you're risking your very life to skip a cutscene that's yep. like five seconds long, but it's worth it, okay? So... Her hitting you is not a big deal, but as you can see, this place, she can Ooh. knock you off, and then then you die. Yeah, so if you're on the edge, which would be because you're pushing these things off, and she hits you, you just, you're dead. Yep. She just <laughs> like flings you off the edge and... Yeah, it's a bye -bye. very... It's a horrible way to go, but... Yeah, but that yes. went very well. You basically just want to do like a big like an L shape to the gun, and then you sort of purposely trigger her so she starts running towards you. Yeah. It is quite a specific, because if you trigger her too early she or too late, she'll um, mess you around a bit. Yeah. But yeah, you basically knock her off. So um, if you just push, you can just push the, um, the boulders or whatever, you can push them and then Lisa will trigger a cutscene and then just jump off. But you have to watch that cutscene cut scene, because you can't skip it. So waste a lot of time. So it's preferable to just knock her off so you can skip that cutscene. But it is spooky. Yeah, since we, yes, we killed Barry. Uh, <laughs> since we let him die and took his gun. Bye -bye. <laughs> His gun is absolutely overpowered, and it it is insane. Yeah, so it we'll is see later on, but <laughs> yeah, it is a magnum, but you can't use the regular magnum bullets on it. It has six bullets, and that's all you get. But one, like it one shots everything. So yeah, there we go. You always have to clear out that zombie because there's a part where you have to cross through and if you get grabbed, you'll blow then up. Then you just die. Yeah. So Most likely. Always, even if you're going for the risky strat, you got to take that one out. Yeah. Only time when people don't necessarily kill it is in knife runs, but in, in the regular runs, it's just worth it to kill it because otherwise it's way way too risky for very little time yeah i mean the ammo is spare in that magnum anyway we only need yeah. one spoiler alert but <laughs> the boss isn't very strong well like i said it is a one-shot kill of even the final boss which is insane but that's what it is oh god <clears throat> that dodge right there is like free i should not have walked into him <laughs> Like, yeah, but it is a bit like, you know, sometimes when you're not paying attention and the camera angle change happens and you just... Yeah, I was definitely... You need to, like, basically direct yourself direct... Direct yourself directly to that door. <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing now. God, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> you just run forward on the way back as well and you're dodging. <laughs> I'm starting to get nervous now. It's been awfully... Yeah, everything is going so well. Like, it's just, I'm spooked for, you know, the Nitro <laughs> run, which the you guys will see part. soon. Yeah, it, it is. I don't know what kind of sadistic people thought of it. It's, it's interesting. Oh, my God. 
for some reason, I messed that up. <laughs> Thank God it's... I have so many spare. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good part, but... Oh, God. In, like, world record runs, people just don't kill this chimera, but it's, it's very spooky because he can just ruin your day. Yeah, like, he can grab you. From the, it can be on the top, and it's very scary to like bait him back down onto the floor. Yeah. It can even just swipe you when you're running past him, and you'll blow up. I think it's sixty to seventy percent chance of an enemy hit, like grabbing you or just hitting you, and you'll blow up. So I have been lucky actually. <laughs> I was like yeah. all skill, <laughs> but it wasn't. It was complete luck <laughs> that I lived. So yeah, here we're picking up a nitro compound for this capsule that we took. And when you pick this up, well, we can't obviously read it unless you know Chinese, but it says that running can result in a fatal explosion. So <laughs> this is why uh, when you're holding this nitro, running, getting grabbed, shooting your guns, increases the um, chance of you just blowing up and dying. Yeah, so if you notice I'm doing like two or three steps and then five run, well, I'm playing it very safe. <laughs> but yeah. optimally, you would want to do two, two walk yeah. and then five or six. <laughs> if you're really on the edge, do six, but... <laughs> Yeah, it, do <laughs> it depends on the difficulty as well, because on easy, I think you can just run like 10 and and then walk wow. two or something <laughs> crazy like the that. wrong difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yeah, um, it's very scary because I've been not paying attention, just just like, you know, reading chat, chill, <laughs> and blow up. <laughs> it's really terrifying. <laughs> But yeah, so, yeah, shooting your guns will also make you blow up. Yeah, that's why you want to preemptively get them. You can take grabs sometimes and you can get like swiped and such, but it's just a like um a possibility that you will blow up. Yes, yeah, it's, it's 60 to 70%, I believe. Like someone said that in my chat. That's probably a lie. But <laughs> <laughs> wow, I for some reason couldn't get the whatever. <laughs> struggling on the elevator now but anyway <laughs> we're coming yeah, to the final boss <sighs> very exciting hardest boss in the game very very difficult <laughs> all right and it's yeah. dead <laughs> <laughs> it's actually <laughs> kind a bit harder with the grenade launcher but it's still not like difficult yeah, no. This is but actually this is not the true, yeah, yeah, this is not the true final boss of the game. If you actually, so in this uh, run, we killed Barry, uh, but if you save Barry, you actually get another boss fight at the top. Uh, when you get to the helipad, you have to fight Tyrant again. Yay, and he's worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why I've never done good ending speedruns. It, the even on classic, it's horrible. Yeah, and you don't get Barry's Magnum, which is like the best. Yeah, but... <laughs> I don't think you can even kill him on the roof, right? It's like a timed thing. The um, bus. Well, you do like certain amount of damage to him, and then the rocket launcher, either the rocket launcher drops from time, like there's like 30 seconds left, or you just do a certain amount of damage to yeah. him. So you have to have a lot of grenade rounds. Usually when I see people doing best ending, they have like 20 grenade rounds when they're going into that fight. Yeah, it's a um, very scary boss. <laughs> but just run bad ending. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Yay. <laughs> and that's pretty much... we got to yeah. set off a thing and then it'll be done. But I'll, I'll say yeah. I'll say when it's... when the timer stops, but... And that's time. Yay, that was an amazing run. That's, thank you. <laughs> that's Resident <laughs> Evil, folks. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, let's see. 58.12. That's not bad. Yeah, that's a very, very good time. 
yeah, that's a lot of um, good luck with the uh, Dodgers and obviously good skill. Yeah, that was Mansion One rarely goes like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I, like I feel bad. We were just like ragging on the zombies and they were just <laughs> being so nice today. They didn't even perform. I thought they'd like, you know, show up <laughs> all their skills with the yeah. crazy AI, but no, they just, you know. Hmm. Anyway, that's that. Yeah, thanks everyone for uh, hanging out. Thank you for staying up to do the commentary, by the way, May, and and thanks to the people who watched from my channel, like hung out. I really appreciate it. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was fun. It's really fun. Yeah. Mhm. Mm well, I guess <laughs> what's happening now. <laughs> I don't know either. I think both of us probably should go to sleep. Okay. Okay. <laughs>